Finally, I'm making a video to show how you can take orders out of your third-party e-commerce platform such as Shopify, Magento, or any other platform out there that exports orders into CSV and show you how to quickly get those into Odoo so that you can generate in delivery orders, do all your invoicing and accounting, fulfill those orders, and keep the business rolling. So the first thing you need to do is if you haven't watched any of my videos about how to import data into Odoo, you're gonna wanna do that. Open up another tab, go to YouTube, type in V12, how to import data. Uh, look for Nicholas Kaczynski as the author. Watch those videos, familiarize yourself with the fundamentals, and let me know if you have any questions. To briefly summarize it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in debug mode, which I review in the video. You're gonna to wanna to go to the actual sale order record here, and you're gonna to wanna to identify all the fields that are in bold, and you're going to want to uh, input a value for those, or you're going to wanna hover over those when in debug, get the technical name of the field, and use that as the column header in your CSV file. So now that you have your column header all sign, assigned to all the proper values on the sale order or no do, you're going to want to take your data out of the CSV file that you've exported from, let's just call it Shopify, and you're going to want to move that data into Odoo. Start with the name of the order, the order number, start with and the customer, then the date the order was confirmed. Have these fields here, these three, just set as normal for uh, these are Odoo specific fields that you're going to want to set up upon building this template. Pretty standard. Um, if you have questions on this, just let me know. But you'll have these three fields consistently already inputted into Odoo. And then here you'll have all the or products that were ordered. You're going to have the uh, quantity of the product of the line that was ordered and the order or line or the unit price of each of those quantities. And if in the event you have an, uh, an order with more than one line, well then you can always insert one below and have uh, another line here and a quantity and a price. So once you have all your orders and uh, pushed out into a CSV file, go to export, download as CSV or Google Sheets or whatever you're operating in and go into your Odoo database, go to your orders and click import. Load your file in the morning when you come in, push it into Odoo, test the import. Odoo's going to quickly run through all of the data you're looking to import, make sure it's structured right. If it's not, it'll kick back an error and tell you what you did wrong. If it's right, you're going to get a little blue bar, which is going to say everything looks good, as I'm hoping we get right now. Um, just take another second here. And... There we go, everything seems valid, and I can go ahead and import my order. Once I import my order, Odoo is going to do all of its magic as we speak right now. It's gonna import the order, it's gonna validate the order, it's going to generate the delivery order, and it's gonna prompt your accounting team to fire off invoices for all those orders, all with the click of a button. You could even have poured a cup of coffee by the time that I finished doing this in the morning. So when people are talk talking about wanting to automate integrations and, and all that good stuff, unless your order lines and the quantity and volume of orders you're bringing in from those third-party systems is super high and super complicated, um, it's not really going to make a whole lot of sense. So now that those orders are all in here, you can see them all listed here, all ready to invoice, just like that. Uh, we even can see the uh, super big order with the two lines and the crazy amounts of products and unit prices here that we created. And then all our delivery orders are set to ship here. And if I go into my inventory, I'll see I have 59 waiting. And those are all the orders that we just imported. So the next step would, of course, now that you have your logistics team all lined up, ready to import, uh, ready to deliver those, they're just waiting on those products to be in stock, which in this dummy, uh, dummy account, they're not. You will be able to select all, or better yet, look at what you got to invoice, select all of those out, and you can always uh, action, invoice your orders right from Odoo, create your invoices, and Odoo is going to consolidate all those invoices across your different customers, and it will generate one big invoice here for you to 
and uh, for you to send off. And you can see here all the related sale orders, which these, this invoice was consolidated from. If you don't want Odoo to consolidate one invoice across, you know, for one customer across all your open sale orders for them, you can always propagate it out and have it develop, uh, have it uh, create unique invoices um, per order. So that's up to you, but you'll see everything here. So let's just do one more test. I'm going to do it with uh, a select few products here. Let's take uh, some lines here. Let's open up a new sheet. And just like that, just like that, unit price. So now we can, uh, I'm going to take these three values because I know I'm going to use them again. Then I'll even steal the order date because I, uh, you'll probably ex extract that from your other system. You'll have your customer John Doe. You can have a um, hi there just to test this out. Uh, product line, test product, the um, quantity, and the unit price. And let's uh, go ahead and export this and go to quotes or orders, import, load file. Just like that, this will be quick because there's only one order. There's all our data. Um, we actually want to test the import. Customer two, John Doe, it's not the right customer. Uh, I can create that customer if it doesn't already exist and import it just like that. And now we will see there is uh, John Doe down here. There's the high there. You, know, you can easily filter out, show me what I need to invoice still. There's our high there order for customer just John Doe. And the difference, if you haven't noticed, is one is John Doe Inc. And the other is just John Doe, uh, which you can filter out uh, by just going like that. We'll have our ordered quantity, invoiced quantity, to subtotal. And we can always just select this and uh, invoice that order and proceed with it just like that. Journal entries, ah, I should also mention, um, if I go to that invoice for that, that huge invoice here, right? How cool is this? Odoo, when I validate it, will automatically post my journal entries for all of these different products down the line, debits and credits and everything will be balanced out in my uh, product sales. So with that, um, and then of course, if I go to my inventory app, I now have 60 waiting, um, oops, 60 delivery orders, which are pending because I don't have the right products in. Um, and I can look at, if I can search the source, would be uh, the source document is going to contain the word high. And there it is, my high there record, which we just uh, imported, created a minute ago via sale order high there, drill down, see that sale order, both the delivery order and the invoice. So, I mean, in a matter of maybe 45 seconds after the third time doing this, it'll take you to import a list of 50, 60 orders. You know, there's no reason why a company processing 100 to 200 sale orders uh, that are relatively straightforward, you know, five line items or less on a third party e commerce cannot export those, drop those in an Excel file, and import those into Odoo for fulfillment. There's just no reason. There's, there's no return on investment to spend the money building a third party integration that is going to automate that process for you when. I could pour a cup of coffee, use the restroom and be back at my seat while, you know, we input by the time we import 500 orders into this system. So if anyone has questions or needs help sort of navigating this, you know, this decision or this process and wants some input, feel free to reach out to me via my contact information in the description of the video. I'd be more than happy to help out. Awesome. Thanks for listening and uh, best of luck out there.